in Michael Humer's book, he goes into not only the atrocities of Mao, Hitler, Stalin, and Pol Pot, but he gets into the My Lai Massacre. Uh, yeah. Who do you think holds more moral culpability in such atrocities? The order giver, the politician, or the order follower, the soldier? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, who has more is really hard. You know, if you if you're making lots of these orders, you're probably causing mass damage. But then I do think the person who follows the orders has a high degree of moral uh, culpability. In fact, I have a book coming out later this year called When All Else Fails. And the subtitle we haven't quite focused on or settled, but I think the subtitle is going to be The Ethics of Uncivil Disobedience or perhaps The Ethics of Resistance to Government Injustice. And the, the thesis of the book is that you have the same right of self-defense against civil government agents as you have against me. So what I claim is that government agents do not, contrary to popular belief, enjoy what I call special immunity, which means um, the, whatever the conditions are that would de determine when you're allowed to lie to me, fight back against me, resist me, hurt me or kill me in self-defense or in defense of others, those very same conditions apply to government. There's no difference to that. Which means, if I'm right, that if you see something like a police officer ch choking Eric Garner to death and you're armed, it's morally permissible for you to shoot him and run away. Now, it would be deeply imprudent to do so because they'll probably send a SWAT team to murder you, but morally speaking, you're allowed to do that. It means that if a president is about to start an unjust war and you could somehow stop it by sniping him or hurting him or something like that, you'd be allowed to do it. It also means that government agents, the people who work for government, the soldiers and so on, have permission to resist the orders of their superiors and to fight back if necessary. Um, so I don't think that there's, you know, I'm just following orders is never an excuse unless there's like literally a gun to your head. Like we are going to hurt you unless you hurt somebody else. You have to say no. Holding the state, the state to the same standards as everyone else. <laughs> well, that's one of my favorite thought crimes. Um, <laughs> it, 